Hey family, welcome back to my channel, The Pisces Way, a place for Pisces made just for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. And you already know it's your graphic Pisces Mars, and you already know how we do. So sit back and relax, and we're definitely going to get the tea for the Pisces, okay? Cross watches are definitely welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go right in and do a quick prayer. Higher power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light, please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please, um, <laughs> please protect us from any souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom. Always and forever, higher power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation. Guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, let's tap in, family. So, this reading is going to have voodoo in it. Because immediately, as I was saying, please protect us from any souls, vibes, or entities. When I said vibes, I was going to say voodoo. But I don't, I don't, I know what high power be doing. High power want me to add in. Like, sometimes if you listen to some of my readings, I, um, I be finna say reading like a certain word at a certain part. It's because I probably want me to say that because that's definitely what the reason is going to be about. Okay. Um, somebody is definitely doing some type of moon magic voodoo. Okay. On uh, your intuition here. Or if you're a high priest on, on a high priest. Okay. Um, this is to bend you and bind you all at the same time. They want to bind you to something but bend you from something else. Um, this is like bad luck, magic, conflict magic, um, for shit to just not go in your favor, for things to just be happening to you out of the blue, or suddenly, unexpectedly. Um, so stop, stop all your manifestations here. Um, whatever that's coming towards you. I feel like I'm gonna probably have like three different reads for you all. Um, because I feel like it's gonna be... very different because this is not what the reading was starting out to be but let, let's just see what's going on here um what card should i start this reading out with i'm sorry i had the cards that i wanted to do a reading with let me see something What's going on here, family? <laughs> I feel like your ancestors could be trying to, like, keep you calm or pull you down in, like, a certain situation or predicament. Um about like certain individuals that could be like perfectly fucking with you picking with you this got something to do with like this magic here somebody sending like these spells of bad luck or bad juju or um like this cursed energy towards you right where the era around you even though you could seem like a positive person or like um even if you are like things are happening towards you and it could be stuff that's like good luck or good fortune. Like, okay, this is what I'm getting. Okay. Go in the kitchen and eat that. And don't go in my refrigerator. I'm, I'm getting like what I'm getting is they're sending out conflict spells, right? And they're sending out like illusions and like um, bad luck. So, self instance, something does go in your favor, right? Um, it's something that's going to turn around and happen right behind it. That's going to be bad luck. Um, specifically because things are going in your favor. I feel like higher power is trying to remind you that they have you, they have your back. Okay. And they are on your side, but somebody is doing this to you. So you need to like kind of keep calm here. Like say for instance, you like, oh shit, just, you know, just looked up for me. Things just happened for me the way I wanted it to, or I just got some good luck. Then turn around, something else bad happened. It's because somebody's trying to, like, stir bad karma or bad um, energy your way. Okay? Um, this could also take take place in other people. Like, you might have certain people, like, 
that are like fucking with you or are trying to you know send negative like okay of course they're sending it's other people that send negative energy towards you but they're trying to have you in conflict with other individuals right um but honestly this like for instance if you catch a person in some type of low vibrational energy or you're around a person that is low vibrational um it's going to attach on to them so say for instance if you're around somebody that's generally a hater they're going to hate on you that's what i'm getting like if you're around somebody where they're just not in a good mood at the time they're going to do some weird shit because the, the energy is in in the air and so it like catches on to whoever that's around you that's um low vibrational enough for it to attach to um to it to attach to this is in order for you to be like to to fuck up your mood so whatever it is stay positive stay calm um always look to the brighter side of the situations try to talk out things or uh find resolutions if you feel like people are like just being very reactive or being very negative or or you know coming at you some kind of way still be polite still be patient um kind of like stay to yourself if you feel like you need to okay don't even like feed into the energy because if you're low vibrational enough it attach on to you and i feel like that's exactly what somebody's trying to do here so kind of like stay clear of that. Give me some information on who this is, higher power. Um, this is not what this reading was supposed to be about, but I feel like this is what's coming out right now. So we got. I feel like whoever this individual is, they're in a five of swords that they're getting left behind. I feel like that things are moving too fast and they're unable to catch up. Okay, um, yeah, this person could eventually, you, you left this person out in the cold or their bitch, somebody left them out in the cold here, and there's a ship that's sailing off, somebody's sailing away very fast here, and somebody's leaving somebody behind, individuals behind, this is more than one individual, so I feel like somebody's trying to, um, send out this negative energy towards you, Pisces, in order to catch up with you, okay, they want some type of notoriety, some type of respect, okay, I feel like these are a type of individuals that um, feel like you owe them something. Um, they feel like they're wearing your old lifestyle or they're wearing your old you, okay? They feel almost like you handed them down. You know how somebody, when something not doesn't fit you anymore, you hand it down to the next person? I feel like somebody literally, like, tried to step inside your shoes and wear you so fucking much, you elevated. And then once you elevate it, right, um, they're, they're in your old shoes, your old lifestyle. That's that's how you used to be. But see, that's not good enough for them, okay? Because now they want what you have now here. And you left these people out in the cold. Or specifically, somebody is left out in the cold and this person's hate on you. So this can go in two different ways, right? Somebody's sending out this bad negative energy because you are in this positive energy and you're elevating, you become better in life, right? You're doing better, you're making better decisions here. This person's trying to fuck you up, okay? They're trying to make you negative so that you're low vibrational. They're trying to attach this um, negative energy around you to your aura. It's almost like, you know, like um, you're the light and everybody else is kind of like, if they're low vibrational enough to, for the energy to attach to them, it's going to attach to them. So, like, just stay away from certain people. You don't even need to talk to certain people or just, like, kind of do your own thing, okay? Don't no negativity. You don't even need to tell them what's exactly going on with you. Just, you know, have a nice day, love. Stay blessed, you know? Mm hmm And, you know, kind of keep it pushing. Now, that's for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, somebody here got left behind, and so they're hating on you, okay? They're hating on you. Um, They're specifically picking you out of the bunch to hate on you. And somebody's determined, okay? Whoever this person is, they have a lot of determination to stir up some drama, to raise hell, to cause conflict. Um, this person is like starting some type of ruckus or some type of bullshit here. Um, stirring the pot. They're getting whoever that they want or whoever that they can. They're getting they're they're trying to get any and everybody into the mix here. So, yeah, like, they're affecting your family members, they're affecting your friends, they're affecting, you know, random people, they're affecting whoever that they can here, so that you, you could feel the bad luck. It's like whatever and whoever around you, so that you could feel the bad luck, or that you could feel the negativity. It's like, if you're not negative enough for them to be able to actually pin it or touch you with it, they're going to pin it um, on somebody else around you or individuals around you. So just be kind of be careful here. 
you might even need to like pray over your family member or friends because of this negative ass energy. Yeah, I'm hearing Demi Demon Slayer. Demi God. I feel like you are inspirational to somebody here. We have the Naval of Swords. Somebody's using their words to cut. And I'm just seeing this. Ace of Swords. No, this is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. To stop some time. Okay. King of Wands. Yo, this can have something to do with a man. Okay? Or you could be a man here. This is a two-faced individual, okay? Whoever is in this energy, they're very crossed or double-minded. Uh, one minute they're calm, one minute they're not here. This person has two different sides or also egos to themselves here. I feel like the grass is very bare. Um, it's, it's giving the energy of like a queen of wands and a queen of swords at the same time. Somebody could be very attractive or they could be like a, um, a womanizer or a manizer, but then like they tend to very much so switch up. Okay, when they are not getting their way here, somebody's trying to use the naval swords. So it's something that they feel like they know. Um, as some type of they're trying to use that as some type of bond. Um it's kind of like if you know you could manipulate somebody, or if you know you could um uh, pull the wool over somebody's head by using these sharp words or sharp tongues or saying certain things to you or certain things to the individual are making them feel some type of way. This person is going to use it. Like, if it is, you know how you tell people your secrets or you tell people something that's um, valuable to you that you would not want anybody else to tell. This this is the type of person that will be sweet so they'll know all your secrets and then they'll use them against you. Okay, in the most evil, malicious way here. This is somebody that's trying to be strategic here, but they're... They're, they are being strategic, but they're using modal. They they have modal behind why they're doing this. Somebody wants to get their way. And so they absolutely are determined to get their way. Um, And I feel like what their way could be is some type of forward movement, whether for you to be stopped, um, whether for, you know, you could be stopped dead in your tracks or somebody else to be stopped dead in their tracks here. Um, What is this five? Yes, yeah, somebody here got left out in the cold and they're upset about it. It's nothing but rainy days here. Somebody's very sad. And I also feel like this person's in, in a lot of regret for something that they have done here. Their life has actually been put on hold. I probably would not bless this person for the shit that they have done. Okay, hangman. This person here, I feel like this is some type of realization. And they also know that the reason why they are getting left out in the cold or left behind is because of something that they did. Not because of what nobody else did. This person could be the type of individual that does not take, um, they don't take responsibility for their actions or the things that they've done. They they like to play, bl play, play the blame game. This is somebody who likes to play the blame game. But the thing about it is, they know deep down inside, but they still want to find somebody else to kind of blame the issue on, to kind of make themselves feel better on the outside and I, I don't know what this is but it's more of an energy of like how do you sleep at night when it's kind of like you know you know you did what you did yeah bad luck here I feel like this has something to do with like a union or coming together being like a good choice or option here somebody could have left somebody out in the cold specifically a queen of swords in the um, reverse here if this is a situation where you decided to pick like a commitment a union a contract Something that you um, want to stick to or something that you want to do. Something you felt like was very valuable to you. And you decide to leave somebody out in the cold. They're upset about it. Okay? They're upset about it. Because they feel like, you know, you don't want anything to do with them no more. You're kind of leaving them. Even if you left this person out uh, for a good reason here. Yeah, you're focused on you. Queen of Wands energy. You're looking very beautiful. Very radiant here. This could even be a friend or a family member. For some of you guys, like I said, this is a person that your person was in a relationship with. Or you could have been in a relationship with this woman, okay? Shout out to my LGBTQ. Somebody here is very fucking pressed and they're gossiping. They're doing a lot of gossiping. This could even be a man as well. So take it however may resonate for you. But somebody's very gossipy, okay? Every time they hear a bit of bad news, it triggers the fuck out of them, okay? 
I mean, like, breaking down, crying. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to say here. I feel like this is you no longer taking a risk towards somebody. Or no longer risking it. Um, don't, No longer risking what you believe to be is true or what you find to be is, as, is happiness or what you find to be, you know, beloved, an ace here. Like I said, this could be a relationship, but ace is not just relationship. But ace talks about abundant, um, abundance. It talks about blessings. It talks about love. It talks about genuineness, passion, okay? Overflowing cup of joy. Okay, whatever the divine decides to bless you with. But some of you guys, like I said, this could definitely be talking about a relationship. Somebody is standing on their ground here. Somebody is very much so firm. Yeah, not willing to give something else another chance. Somebody does not know what to do. I'm hearing, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Somebody's hitting themselves or doing something here. They can even be having suicidal thoughts. Somebody's facing some type of two of swords here. This could be you or another individual, but I feel like this is something you don't know, Pisces, or somebody else doesn't know. Um, somebody here is also in a, a dealing with some type of heartache, pain, anxiety, depression. Okay, or this is you. You're dealing with anxiety, depression here. You're facing some type of two of swords. You want to defend another person or defend some type of honor, but you're also in a heartbreak. So this is giving me something like somebody doesn't want to be a fool. Why do fools fall in love? It's like they want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt or they want to do something here, but they also don't want to be a fool about something or they don't want to make a foolish ass decision, okay? And this can have something to do with marriage. This can have something to do with this contract or bondage thing. So I feel like you could have left somebody alone, right? Not dealing with this friend, this family member, this person you were in a relationship with, whoever, right? Or your person left this person behind. And they could feel like, you know, they want to come towards you. They want to, they know this blessing is where they want to be. Um, somebody could have definitely are, is in this two of swords here. Where they feel like it's a difficult decision to defend something or take some type of honor. Which they could have done that before in the past. And they could have been sadly mistaken or laid down here. Somebody is still dealing with this heartache or this pain. Um, suffering from some type of anxiety from whatever had happened to them. Okay, um, this person is currently not giving in to something or not. I do feel like with it being in the upright and with the higher fit being in the upright, I feel like somebody has learned from their mistakes and willing to, you know, do the right thing because they've learned from their mistakes. Somebody is healed. Don't get it wrong here. Somebody is not karmic. Somebody's healed. Somebody's resting. Somebody's rejuvenating. Somebody's catching their breath, okay? Um, but I feel like at the same time, though, you have so for some of y'all like i said this is a, a another individual that's kind of hating on you and doing shit towards you because they're upset that somebody else left them out of the cold and this person here is uh, dealing with um a situation like this person that you're dealing with okay that you could possibly be in this four of wands with they're dealing with a situation where they're they're trying to rest up um, and do what's right for them, but they are still dealing with a heartbreak or some type of hurt feelings or emotions here. They're not giving towards this person or towards this, though. Let me see. Clarify the page. Yeah. They're not defending something, even though they might want to. They just don't want to look stupid. They are in the higher kingdom. They're not releasing as well, or they're not rejecting. Their secrets has caused them to have judgment here. So this person here, um, are the secrets that has been shared, like there's been some type of secret that has been revealed, okay, um, has caused somebody to have, have judgment. I feel like this is this own individual, I mean this own, 
that this is your person that has judgment on themselves. It's time for somebody to celebrate. It's time for somebody to be happy here. They could be judging themselves very harshly about something that happened. Or um, kind of falling for some type of mistake. Didn't I tell you to sit in the kitchen and eat that? Don't, don't go back in my kitchen. You don't listen. So go. There could be some type of threats here. Somebody's making threats. This could also be what somebody's trying to, how somebody's trying to protect you or somebody could be making threats towards you because you confessed something or said something here or, or you know something. Somebody could be trying to make threats towards you because somebody doesn't want to be with them anymore. Because you could have known about somebody. That's why I said something about your um, intuition here. Whether you know about somebody's, you know, deep, dark secret or you know about what somebody did up in the dark. Did up in the dark. Damn, I ain't mean to say that. This got something to do with somebody Somebody know about somebody having sex or, or know about something that somebody did, something devious as fuck. And somebody knows about it or somebody speaking upon it or like an uh, intuitive reader. could have Like say for instance, if you got a read, right? And it's coming out in tarot that what somebody did and you went back and told somebody else. Or if you were like a, um, I'm hearing inspiration because I kept hearing inspiration. If you're somebody where you inspire somebody else or you um, even said something or you are a high priestess yourself and you spoke on something or spoke something else or like you got to download a dream or whatever your intuition could have been just telling you something, right? Somebody feels threatened about what you said because it was actually fucking true. You spoke the fucking truth. That's what spooked the fuck out of them. But then they're so fucking upset because somebody else doesn't want to deal with them no more because it was the truth. See, it's one thing if somebody was like, oh, uh, what this person said, oh, they're lying. They're not telling the truth. But something was the truth. I feel like somebody did their own fucking research and found out that something was actually the fucking truth. You just kind of like led them. And I feel like it wasn't you. It was the divine. It was higher power that you were sent to lead, lead this person or to tell this person. I don't give a fuck if you are not in relationship with them. Somebody just randomly got online, looked up the tarot video, and spoke some shit. Like, I could be speaking something to somebody right now. And, and somebody's upset because somebody is speaking the truth. Okay? Or they're being led to the truth. And they're making threats. Okay? So now somebody here, they want to come in. They want to defend you. Or they want to warn you or let you know something here or help you some kind of way. But they're also in, they're also burdened or are sitting in some type of regret or is sitting in some type of hurt feelings or emotion. Somebody was paid to do something. Page one. To find out something. priestess somebody's curious about this high priestess they want to know um who this high priestess is or what they're saying or how they know what they know two of swords i feel like your i feel like your person could have paid somebody to watch you or to give you something, to gift you with something. Or 
start to possibly say something to you, or what exactly is this gift here? A delayed conversation or gossip. I feel like this gift was supposed to come in the form of something that's supposed to help you. But instead, this gift came in the form of like gossip here from an individual that's watching you as well. So your person could have felt like they trusted somebody or they wanted somebody to do something for them to like delay. A, uh, ooh, delay. Listen, baby. Sometimes it just be flying out. But I mean to um deliver, to deliver a message but here and yet somebody um is yet they're gossiping. They're 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 actually um watching you. Yes, Hermit. Whoever this person is, they're watching you instead and they're 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 relaying gossip or they're talking trash about you or they're causing confusion here, which is pushing this gift back more and more, causing delays here. Somebody actually wants to gift you with something or tell you something or to relay a message. It's almost like, hey, can you come, can you go tell this person this or can you do this for me or can you, yeah, I'm here at 21. Can you do something for me? 21. Somebody acts like a friend of theirs or somebody that they know to do something for them. But whoever this person is, they're watching you so heavily that they're neglecting their own responsibilities choices and decisions which is what somebody wants somebody to do but they're saying like all the negative ass shit they're saying like a lot of bad stuff about you they're giving like a lot of bad information and this is what's causing this person to be in the two of swords because they're trusting somebody here who is delaying around they're delaying around listen they're delivering the wrong information and i was getting at first i was getting a king of pentacles in the reverse but i feel like this person is like a king of pentacles your person could be a king of pentacles and could have paid this person to go watch you do something because they were curious about you, whether, listen, so this is like, oh yeah, who is this person? Or is they honorable? Is there somebody that I should um, be, you know, I, I should trust? Should I trust their word? Um, hey, go check up on them for me. Hey, um, go watch this. Go do this. Go go ride past their house and see what they've been up to. Is, is they really who they say they are? And, and, like, whoever that they sent over there to do this is, like, a fucking frog. I can't make it up, y'all. This person's a frog. Literally. Like, they paid, they paid somebody that they thought that they could trust here. But this person's a fraud. This person is, like, collecting the money and they're watching you. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They pay this person to do a job, to say something, to do something here. But they're not doing their job. They're not doing it correctly. They out partying and kicking it. This person probably not even watching you the right way or not even doing things the right way or telling you or telling the person what they want to hear. Like, okay, say for instance, you going to work, you taking care of your people, you doing this, you doing that. They're not telling you that. They're not telling this person that. And for, for me just saying you, I don't know, Pisces, this could be you. You could be watching somebody and wanting to be in a relationship with them. And they're not telling you what, the good stuff that this person's doing. Now, say for instance, right, all week this person didn't went to, to work. They didn't help the elderly. They didn't volunteer at the homeless shelters. They didn't fucking gave their time to justice, whatever the fuck, right? Came home, cooked, clean, laid down, took care of their kids, and it comes Saturday. This person said, oh, yeah, I'm going to step out. I want to get dressed. I want to go. I want to have fun. I want to go party. I want to go do this, right? Oh, they going to get that, though. Oh, they going to make sure they get pictures of that. Oh, yeah, oh, they go out all the time. This is all they do. They go out all the time. Like, what? Like, this, this is what I'm getting. Like, it, it's something like that. Oh, yeah, I, I just seen them. I'm just saying, this all they do. They, yup, that's all they, they take a picture. They, they, they go out all the time. They, they do this, they do that. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't take care of their responsibility. They don't take care of their kids. They don't take care of their house. Yeah, this person, they poor. Oh, yeah, I, I, I seen them. They lacking. They messed up. They, they homeless. Yeah, they, they a liar. Do, 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 like, just saying plenty stuff. But I'm telling you, when something good happens, like, and don't get me wrong, people go through stuff. People go through stuff where you just might end up in a situation where you might, you know, you might want to go out with your friends. Boom. You you are, you might end up in a situation where you might be on the side of the road because your car messed up or something. Boom. Or you might be in a situation where, like, 
I don't know. I, and I also feel like somebody's trying to do something to put you in a very negative situation too, and that could affect your your situ your living situation, like your job and things like that. Somebody could be trying to do that too. So they could be saying like, oh yeah, you don't have no money, you you don't have no stability, you don't have no income, you don't have no foundation. Like somebody's trying to um put you in a certain situation like that. That's why it's important to stay calm here. Stay calm, family. Because somebody's trying to fuck up your money. Somebody's trying to fuck up your bag. Somebody's trying to catch you out. Like, take, so people could take, like, oh, oh, um, they could even be trying to send people your way, like masculines, feminists. So they could take pictures and be like, oh, yeah, they was out with this dude. They was out with this girl. They was out, they be out partying all the time. They be out doing this. They be out that. Like, I'm telling you, somebody here is, like, really weird. Um, but this is whoever your person paid to, like, watch you or was, you know, giving them. I don't know. And it could have been in a form of, like, gas money. Like, say, it's just somebody like, man, I need some gas money to keep following them around town. Or I need this and I need that to keep on doing this or whatever. And somebody like, all right, bro, I'll send you a couple dollars or whatever. Or or, or they could have actually put them on the payroll. Like, hey, I'll send you a couple dollars here and there and there to do this and that and that for me. And the thing about it is they're they're relate they're relaying information, but they're relaying the wrong information. They're not getting all the information. They're only getting the bad parts, but they're also trying to send more shit your way to make you even look even worse than what you are. This, these people want you left out in the cold. That's the thing about it here. <laughs> they're trying to cause some type of ten of swords here. This is what they're determined to do. Okay, to this gift. Again, now I don't know exactly what this gift is. Um, I'm hearing notor notoriety and respect. So we said that at the beginning. So they want the notoriety that's owed to you. They want the respect that's owed to you. They want the they want somebody to cherish and look at them and, and, and admire them. I don't know if this is this person that got paid. I don't know if they're a man or a woman here. I feel like it's somebody in some young, immature ass energy. This could be a young masculine. I feel like at this current time right now, somebody could be celebrating, having a good time, even going out, having drinks. Um, yeah, this, this King of Swords, I feel like this King of Swords right now, this person is being very strategic, trying to find out the truth or get... Some type of information, trying to look into things, make sure things are valuable, or make sure things like they're they're the ones who's doing the actual investigating. But then you have individuals who they tr feel like they trust, or they try to hire who who is actually not very much so um, trustworthy. We got a high priestess in the. I mean, oh look, I was gonna say high priestess in reverse, uh um, and I was just gonna say high in reverse. A damn empress in reverse out here, okay. Swamp water, yeah. Somebody here is from the swamps or the lagoons. It's giving me like betrayal. They they caught some type of deep betrayal. I feel like this person got caught in the middle of the um. They got caught in the beast belly. They got caught in the belly of the beast. So meaning like they got swallowed whole with something that they did. Um, it's like they stepped foot in something. I don't know. They could have been driven by greed or envy or, or neglect or or ego okay and they end up getting swallowed whole but the thing about it is now they're inside of the belly of the beast they can't really get out it's too it's too much for them but like this person's not the same like they're too far gone here this person's like way deep in this person's doing a lot a lot of fucking magic okay trying to make sure things happen the way they want it to happen um yeah high priestess in reverse this person is manifesting here. This person is a high priestess in reverse, and they're doing a lot of dark magic. But the thing about it is, what they're manifesting here is, um, again, I keep hearing notoriety and respect. They want some type of recognition. They want this person to look at them some type of way. Oh, and admire them, or respect them, or honor them, or, or look at them. Like, look at me, look at me. They want some type of, I'm here in Cleveland. Somebody could be showing some type of cleavage here. And, and you know what's actually crazy is they don't they don't like this man. Okay. 
Or they don't find this man charming or handsome or bold or courageous. Like this man is sitting in the king of wands. But they don't find it. They don't look at this man in that kind of way or that kind of honor. Um, they don't They don't admire this man. Um, they just want this man to admire them. Okay, so this could have been something that could have recently happened. This little page here that we was talking about, this individual, they could have, they could have kind of conspired together, our band together, to rather get who got. Oh, let me see. No, they left this person out of the code. This King of Swords left this person out of the code. This little fake-ass person. This caused the tower. Oh, so somebody's catching on here. And this caused the tower right here. Fake reporter. That's what I'm going to call this person. They the fake reporter. This person got left out in the code, and this caused like a very, this caused like a fight. This caused like a fight, this caused like a power here. Because um, somebody knows that at this point somebody juggling some type of new beginning or somebody's too far gone here. It's like somebody's made their mind up. So somebody, they found out enough here. This King of Swords is finding out enough temperance, baby. I can't, look, tower, I can't make it up. This person's, look, and they're going to damn give. They're finding out enough. Okay, enough to lead them somewhere. It's like, okay, so I'm not making sense. How, how, how you keep telling me this and that and that about this person, but that's not making sense. Like, but what is making sense is this and that and that, and you ain't telling me that, though. Like, you, you're not doing something right, or, or like they found out that this person was phony. They found out that this person was working together to cloud their judgment. That's what the fuck they found out. Yes. To cause this person confusion. They found out that they were working with this damn empress in reverse. Yes. Sneaky as fuck. Coming together behind the scenes. Okay. This is being illuminated right now. Somebody is paying somebody. to. So, so this person here. This little page. Whatever. This person gets some money. Okay. They were getting paid by your person. And they were getting paid by this person. So they were getting paid by your person. To watch you, but then they were also getting paid by this other person, this Empress in Reverse, to be a manipulator. But I guess this Empress in Reverse must have been paying, paying them more, or what exactly was their motive? Why would they do that? The Chariot. Forward movement. Why would they do that? Why would they work with the Empress in Reverse? Oh, because I feel like whether it, it, they're part of some type of materialistic-ass family. Yeah, and, and, and so at some point, this King of Swords could have cut a family off or stop fucking with this family or stop dealing with them. And, like, I guess this 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 uh little page or whatever, this fake reporter, was, like, um in, it could have been in this King of Swords family. And, like, I guess this King of Swords is being stingy to the family and not fucking with them because of the... The dark shit that they do or some type of manipulation because they're coming out as the, the the ten of cups in reverse so they're manipulative with their love or something something that they did to the look magician in reverse they were doing fucking magic look devil in the reverse breaking out of toxicity this man left his family alone right and this person was like oh yeah well we'll get your ass I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna act like I'm cool with you, but I'm really not cool with you. I'm really working with this Empress in Reverse to take you down and cause you confused. This is crazy. Four Swords, I'm telling you. This man put a hold to this, or he could be currently putting a hold to this, like, right now. Like, this could be something that's happening, like, today. This might even break out, like, a fight or something. And for some of y'all, this individual is still watching you. Like, they did a lot of stuff. Like, they're watching you very closely. That's the crazy part. Like, they know your house. They know your cars. They know where you work. They know this. They know every fucking thing about you. They're watching you so fucking close. 
They know your favorite bar. They know your favorite drink. They know your best friend house. They know your homie down the street. They know the shit. They know everybody. They know. They they know. They they this part probably even know your family. Don't be surprised, girl. <laughs> Y'all see that shit? Y'all don't be surprised if somebody that made cool with your family. Uh-uh. Now we got the D. What's the T? What's the T for the Pisces? Who, 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 what family member they done made friends with? I'm telling you, they done came around your family and made friends with your family. Your family don't even know that this person is an enemy. They say if they see somebody in the store or see someone in the, you know, that's the, you know, they cool with your family. Oh, I got a new friend. I got a new girlfriend. I got a new boyfriend. I got a new person I'm talking to. Oh, ooh, y'all, for some of y'all, if y'all got somebody that's young in your family, be fucking careful. Like, same as you got, like, young people in your family, like, teenage boys or teenage girls, um, that, like, they could be cool with or whatever, and they only became cool with these people in order to, like, watch you, or came friends with, like, people, who, what, what's going on here, what, who they became friends, what, who is, a relative, Somebody, they became cool with somebody who wants you to release boundaries and they go. Let down some type of boundaries towards them. Do they know about this person? That's the question. Oh my goodness. They getting paid. They paying them. Y'all gotta be careful. They paying your family. They paying your... I can't make it up. The sun looked that bad. Illusion. Ooh. Illusions. They pin your... F All right. So, this one got real deep. So, now it's to the point where your family, they even got sucked into some shit. And this finna go into that next... Okay. Okay. Now this finna go into that next read that I was getting into. I ain't gonna dig no more into that. Because mm -hmm. this finna go into that next read. Okay. Not right now. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all that they still say I told your family that you the queen of pentacles, or that you got a lot of money, or you finna be the queen of pentacles, and now these these family money hungry, low vibrational. If you got low vibrational people in your family. Then this is gonna resonate with you. Uh, people that's trying to, you know, bring you down. They they're telling these people, are you gonna be stingy? You're not gonna give them anything. Um, you don't care about them. You're talking about them. Um, they're like telling these people any and everything to like come against you, and they're also paying these people. This is the only reason you might be seeing certain people. Buying luxury items or going on vacations or doing certain things. And it's like, this is the reason why. Because they're, they're all, like, connected in a way. And, girl, this shit is crazy. And I feel like they're all kind of gossiping here. And they're all fucking confused. They're all they're all gossiping and they're all confused. Because they really don't know what this hyphen is going to do. And they really don't know what's going on. Because, like, this hyphen is, like, cutting, cutting people off. Or like shit is happening here. This person is sitting out in a hybrid in a reverse here. This person is trying to move to the the future with the six of cups coming out in the reverse. This person is not trying to look at the past no more. They trying to move on with their life and move forward with the future, which is good news here. But it's so many fucking secrets pertaining a Queen of Pentacles. You being a Queen of Pentacles, this is what's being illuminated. I feel like everybody know about some shit, but you. I feel like that's the crazy part. Bad choices and decisions. They're, so, somebody's using some type of wordplay, or they're using some type of something they saying. They, they know sometimes, they know something about you. And they can know something about you because of this weird ass family, your family, this family. Oh, somebody coming out the cold with the lovers. The 
but what if it's bad choices? Oh, somebody's trying to convince somebody. Oh, somebody's trying to convince somebody that coming out the cold with the lovers and being in a lover situation is a bad de decision, choice, or, or idea. Yeah, don't see coming. But I feel like when somebody don't see fucking coming in, somebody's going to be moving forward because somebody holding on. Man, somebody can't fuck with something, dog. Like, it's actually really crazy because this is a lot of work. Do you do you see how many cards are out here? This is a lot of people that got stood up here, got paid. Like, I feel like a lot of people that got paid, y'all, uh, to kind of try to like come in between something or sabotage something, and it's not working. It's just not work. No wonder this person over here pulling their hair out, scratching on themselves. Scratching their face and stuff. Because it's just not working. It's just not working. Somebody's not rejecting something. Somebody's making a good choice to walk away and to move forward. Somebody is trying to use wordplay, though. I feel like if somebody's doing something here, yeah, we got for a movement, for a movement, transformation here, the chariot. I feel like if somebody's not necessarily giving to something here, it's not because of what somebody else is saying or doing. Somebody is like, no, it's not because of what the fuck you're saying, what you're doing. It's because of, you know, how they feel, their emotions and feelings. Let's get it. Let's see. What's the page here in the reverse? Okay. Who is this? We got a queen of cups in the reverse. Oh. Somebody that's watching. Watch it so much, they neglecting their responsibilities. Or these could be two, this same damn, the fake reporter. So somebody's not giving to a mother and a fake reporter here, a two of cups relationship. Hangman, damn, civilization. Who is this queen of cups? Okay. So this is somebody this King of Swords found out was um being manipulative. Along with this fake reporter. This Two of Cups is an open cycle here that somebody's investigating or looking into, doing some type of research on, trying to find out some type of clarity on this. Somebody could have possibly walked away from this Two of Cups for some type of giving and receiving, some type of toxic environment. Yeah, they're healing from this now. They're healing from the magic that was done on them in order to leave this situation behind. Realization here. So, they're no longer, this King of Swords is no longer giving to this false reporter or mother figure. For the type of shit that they're doing here or what they're, what they're um, doing behind closed doors. Somebody's an emotional manipulator. Somebody plays game on per um, plays game on somebody. Oh, on a family. If you got like a brother or a sister or somebody that's in a relationship with somebody and they're like younger than you, um, and like they got like a family together, like children together or something like that, be careful of individuals like. Um, your sister, baby, daddy, or your your brother's baby mama, or or something like that. Somebody's a manipulator. 
Um, and they're getting paid as well. To like keep tabs on you. Like whatever you, some of y'all, you got to stop telling people your business. Because people like to run their mouth and they and they don't understand the, the, what, okay, say for instance like, oh man, sister just got a new car, oh man, sister out here got a new job, oh man, sister doing good for themselves. And not necessarily trying to like brag or are necessarily trying to like tell people your business, but like just, you know, they can even be happy for you. And next thing you know, you got motherfucker like doing certain shit. That how how you think they found out this, and how you think they found out that? Because like some of y'all, you just gotta kind of keep things to yourself. You don't tell nobody nothing. Yeah. I feel like whoever this other individual is, they kind of fell for the bullshit. Um, they kind of fell weak to temptation. They needed money or. They, they needed whatever it is. See, the thing about these people is they know how to target certain people. That's low. They're not going to go after certain people that's high vibrational. They're going to go after the people that's low vibrational. Especially if you got a situation where certain people, like, broke up or, or you know, certain people, like, moved away from each other. It's for a reason. Like, for instance, okay, you have somebody that's high vibrational in your family and somebody that's low vibrational. Next thing you know, they stop talking or they stop being friends or they stop being cool or you stop being cool with them. But then you find out that, like, they're weird or they're doing shit or they're being paid to do shit. It, it, God separated you from these people on purpose. It's time for you to isolate yourself and move around for these people on purpose because, see, they, they you know, they feel weak to temptation. And you got to be separated from them. I feel like this can even be like a father. Somebody don't like you because of your justice and the things that you got going on in your life. Stop giving people the, the benefit of the doubt. If you believe that these people ain't shit and, and they, you know, coming towards you to hurt you, then it is what it is. Page of Swords. Stop giving people the benefit of the doubt. Like, if your intuition tell you, like, oh, yeah, this person ain't shit. Oh, yeah, this person, you know, they're not, they're not right or they're not, you know. I don't feel like this person, you know. Then you need to believe that. But some of y'all, they've been having eyes on you for a very fucking long time. Because I feel like it kind of started with this person's family. And they kind of draft it over on you. Like, seven instances, if somebody's family had been doing research on you for a long-ass time, or doing research on this person for a long-ass time, and found out, like, oh, this person has, like, a divine counterpart, or this person has some type of goodwill, good fortune, this person's supposed to be married, this and that, and that, they vowed to try to keep that apart. So, for some of y'all, you got thieves amongst you in your family that has been touched by other thieves that's not in your family, have that possibly been friends or in the family for a very long fucking time. But that don't mean anything. That just mean like they started doing their research early. But the thing about all this is, it's catching up. I feel like none of this really matters. It does, but it don't. And then you got this woman over here who's the empress in reverse, clearly she's not the right empress. And she's kind of like fucked up. She's like weak right now. She has no power, no strength because of all the magic she's been doing here. Um, she's kind of being manipulated as well, being coerced, or she was being man She was manipulated from the beginning. See, this all come from that reading that I said about your person and their family, this, this person's family. This person's family is the one that, you know, or your family, if this is you, was the ones who started all this shit. They only they were, they were the big time thieves. They coerced this empress in the reverse and got her in the middle of the shit and manipulated her and got her to doing this shit. Now she knee deep in it. You got a couple of your family that's family members that's knee deep in it. 
And for what though? For you to be single and stable? For you to be the nine of fucking pentacles? They're out here bearing fruit and finna receive a gift? Finna receive more? I hope y'all can see. Wow, this is real crazy. Look. The king is, this, this king of pentacles is on his way. I'm going to let you know that now. But, that is all I have for you guys. Thanks for tuning with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this video has resonated with you, you know exactly what it is that you need to do. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. And peace, love, and prosperity, my babies. Till next time. Bye.